in Rome, apparently, will not be ruined. And tomorrow, with our shoes, we will step on you. One of tens of thousands of protesters in Tahrir Square today, all of them fighting for Egypt to get away to Tunisia, where strongman Ben Ali was overthrown last month. Prime Minister Ghanoushi, uh, thank you for joining the show. Can I ask you immediately, you've been in charge of your country for 22 days now. Uh, have you managed to achieve stability? Nous avons passé des moments difficiles. Il y avait des problèmes sécuritaires. We went through difficult times. There were security issues that are fortunately now in the past. We are now working on social challenges, given the urgent demands to improve living conditions. But that has not stopped us from preparing for the future. We adopted concrete measures to ensure the historic change that our country needs, so that the changes towards democracy, freedom, and respect of the fundamental rights of the Tunisian people be assured, so there will never ever again be a dictatorship in Tunisia. Mr. Prime Minister, can right you, have you been surprised by the events in Egypt, and do you believe that President Mubarak should now uh, go immediately? Nous nous occupons de notre pays. We are worrying about our own country. Our revolution is unique. It was caused by the young. Facebook and Twitter were the lovers. It has been held in a peaceful way. Today, we were able to break with the past thanks to what we have in our DNA. Tunisia, as you know, is an exporting country, but we do not pretend that we export revolutions. We have friendly relationships with all peoples, regardless of the region where they live. Mr. Prime Minister, what happened in Tunisia was that the uh, young people decided they wanted revolution, they were unhappy with the regime, and we have seen the same now happen in Egypt. Uh, do you believe that this is a crisis for the whole of the Middle East? I haven't really thought about it. Since January 14th, we have been totally focused on bringing order to the country, getting back to normal, and accomplishing this challenge of democracy. It is a difficult task. We are all mobilized, youth, adults, elderly, women, children, to succeed. What preoccupies us today is Tunisia and only Tunisia. Prime Minister, if President Obama is watching this interview, uh, what would you like to say to him and the American people? How can they help you in Tunisia? First of all, I would like to thank the American people that have always helped Tunisia since our independence. We never forget what the American people did for Tunisia in critical moments of our history. What I would say to him is that since January 14th, we have received many messages of sympathy and support. One of the first messages Tunisia received was from the United States. During the conversation I had with Miss Hillary Clinton, I was really touched and sensitive to the message she relayed to me from President Obama so that I would convey it to the people of Tunisia. Prime Minister, finally, let me ask you, when do you expect to hold elections in Tunisia? Is it true that uh, once they have been held, you intend to retire from politics yourself? And do you believe that you're going to find uh, successful peace and prosperity in your country uh, in the next few years? We have already entered negotiations, and a commission has been formed to revise the laws to make this election free and transparent, an election that will allow all parties to participate with the same chances. It is the task of the National Commission working on political reform that must be undertaken. That will allow us to find out in a few days the schedule, so that the elections can be held in a way to uphold our objective, that the elections be at the level of the hope generated by this peaceful revolution, a revolution that has reinforced our duty to succeed. In my first interview with Tunisian television, I said that my political career will end the day when the baton is passed to the next government, which will be formed once the elections are held. We have lots of young people, great talents. We have to leave room for those who want to serve this country and who want to give Tunisia a chance to become a democracy, to make Tunisia a free country, a country where energy is freed from every constraint, a country that is dignified for its 3,000-year history. I have confidence in our people. I have confidence in our youth. I have confidence in all political parties that today are eager to preserve fundamental freedoms. Those that respect women's rights, women's freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of thought, we have confidence that these men will succeed in steering this country towards the shores of freedom and democracy. Uh, Prime Minister Ganeshi, thank you very much for your time. I've been to Tunisia. It's a great country. I hope to come again. I wish you every success uh, right. with your uh -huh. uh, democratic free election and with your career personally.
très heureux de vous accueillir en Tunisie. I'd be happy to host you in Tunisia so you can see our country post-revolution. Prime Minister, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.